Fair use, fair use. Shouts out to Big Ant, Urban Politicians TV. We'll get right into it. Like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my sp I want to say blood, but we just want to see some friendly competition. Spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to. You got this. You responded. To like jab my nigga back, and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that sit right with my spirit. That make me feel that disrupts my peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and, and trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga in, uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking phone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofy I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm gonna take that chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, Forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all Past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years So all Yo, 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 it's your boy for show come through the door giving you everything you need and more I'm talking about it man. It's gonna be the next biggest subject talking about today J. Cole issues an apology after getting this um, uh, I don't know if you say he felt he felt bad, but man, you're not about to diss me, and I diss you, and I apologize two days later. And like you just threw jabs, you didn't even really go too crazy. You talked about his albums, which is to some people what you're saying is true. You know what I mean? Like y'all almost must be telling the truth and to get mad when the truth get out. Like, quit, man. J. Cole, that was lame as hell. I'm just be real with you, dog. Everybody know good and damn well wasn't no fan to be no real beef come out of this. Anybody with real set of eyes knew wasn't no, wasn't no punches and none gonna be thrown. This is all battle. You know what I mean? Rap battles. Dude. Friendly competition. Mike Sparn. See who the best MC. And you bow out that damn quick. You just dropped the damn this Friday, this Sunday night. You apologize. Man, dog. was the reason why I ain't really listen to you like that. You always drop a dope album. I'll give you that. But as far as having you in my rotation, no, I never did that. I'm going to be 100 with you. But I always respected the artist you are because you always drop dope albums, hit songs. Can't nobody take that away from you. But yeah, it was just something always about, you know what I mean? I would never just, you know what I'm saying? You got that light skin and you're not trying to tip down something to nobody has light skin. But yeah, that's that light skin shit that people be talking about. You gonna diss him over Friday and apologize Sunday, and he dissed you first. Man, I won't give a fuck what nobody say. You diss me, and he he ain't take his apology back. It didn't. I don't know if it's true, but it's it's word on the street. He's supposed to be dropping an, a, a, another thing, a three song thing this week. Boy, he supposed to be dissing y'all again. So, and you talking about you got your chin? I take your best swing, man. You diss me, I'm dissing you back. Especially somebody on that level, like, oh, y'all, that ain't no up and coming rapper trying to get on. No, that's one of the big dogs. So, it's, man, you crazy. Now, motherfucker. I understand you don't need the publicity. You're going to sell regardless because of who you is. So we all know that you don't need to do it to to get notoriety and get publicity for album sales. You don't need to do that. You're going to sell regardless. But 
rap is beat up right now. So if, if you was going to get the Top Guns to go at it with some lyrical sparring, man, that's what everybody wants. Nobody want no bloodshed. Who the fuck want to see, excuse my French, man. Sorry about this. Who the hell want to see Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole fight? Nobody. So come on, man. Don't try to make it look like it was finna be something it wasn't, dog. No, dog. You scared right now, man. That's all it is, dude. You try to throw a jab, and it got talked about. You did that. It's all planned, dude. You dropped the album out of nowhere. Didn't even tell nobody. Then you say you might delete later, like, I'm going to drop this, but I might delete just in case the response don't be the way I want it to be. Come on, man. Dude, I can read between all the lines, dog. That was soft as hell, J. Cole. Straight up. Like I said, can't nobody take nothing away from the artist that you are. You know what I'm saying? You, every album platinum. You know what I'm saying? You stay at the top of the charts. The females love your music. You know what I'm saying? Dudes respect your music. So can't nobody take nothing away from what you do and what you accomplish. But as fans, I'm speaking for a lot of fans. That was garbage, dog. The go diss them and apologize Sunday night. I understand you probably didn't want to beef with him. He dissed you. He ain't apologized. He heard yours. And allegedly, I don't know if that was the truth what I saw, but there's an album cover with Kendrick Lamar Bite on the sword. And it said something about I still don't trust something like that. And then it's supposed to be a three songs or something. So if that's what it is, that's a response coming. So, man, I don't know, man. I understand y'all was cooler than Kendrick and Drake. But still, man, you not finna diss me, dog. Had the whole world shooken up, and I come back and diss you, and then I apologize. He ain't apologize. Yeah, man, that was weak as hell, J. Cole. I just want to say that, man. Put your TV, the best TV. What the hell is happening to rap, man? This shit is soft as hell, man. Or well, can't even make a, a diss song. It ain't like he talking about killing you or nothing like that. You didn't say nothing to where no violence could be insinuated. And you apologize. And man, this shit is soft as baby shit, man. Sorry about my French uh, YouTube. Show TV the best TV. Like, share, subscribe, man. These dudes is whoopee cushion.